against each other when we are normally they wouldn't even get to do that. You, you know, you know, Endeavor just bought the WWE. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Endeavor, who owns the UFC? Yeah. Yeah, they just bought. The how WWE. do you think that'll work out? Well, they're smart. Yeah. They know how to promote things. You know, hopefully it'll just get even bigger. Yeah. I would think so, too. I just can't see Vince taking any orders. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I mean, I that would be a strange one for me if someone tried to tell Vince McMahon what to do. <laughs> Is that what's going to happen? I don't, I, I don't know. We don't know. I, don't, I it, doubt it. It's, they, they all seem so smart. I think that keeping them separate but equal, like, I think you give... Dana full control there and Vince oh, I don't full think control they overlap. there. Right. I think it's just owned by the same company. But it, the way they've treated the UFC, like they're very smart. And, and yeah. WME just said to Dana White, "You know what you're doing? Run this. Yeah. You know yeah. to run this." Yeah. And I'm sure they'll do the same thing. Oh, great. Yeah. Great. I think so. Yeah. How I could hope you so. not? Right. Like, who the fuck knows more about wrestling than that guy? Right. Nobody. Yeah. yeah. Just did. Can you give us some? When he was getting involved in scandals and there was like girls that he was, had paid off. Yeah. I just wanted to say. Duh. Yeah. Like, duh. You got an 80 year old savage who's, who's, <laughs> yeah. who's built like a fucking gladiator. Yeah. Gee, you think he fucks? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? What do you think? You think Vince McMahon is doing that just for, for fucking hee hees and ha ha's? Right. No, of course he's got some floozies on the side. <laughs> he's my hero. <laughs> really? I, I, for, for, I, you know, I just. He's an animal. I judge people about how they treat me, and he has treated me like. Wow. Like, like. He's never. I've never had anyone treat me with more respect ever in this business. Wow, that's yeah, awesome. Yeah, he's a great guy. I got. I don't care what he does. Before he's, him, he's my hero. There was really no one of that caliber. No, right? There's no one that put together an organization as big as the WWF. No, no. no he t- and he's, he's. What a vision! He's right? got balls bigger than fucking Dallas, Texas. I mean, he's not. Yeah. He's not easily intimidated. Because, you know, when you're talking about your early days, you're going to these places and, you know, the local people know, but it's kind of obscure nationwide. For someone to take wrestling, that was, you know, there was always small shows on television, mm-hmm. but to turn into something like the WWF, to have that vision, to be able to pull something like that off, is pretty wild. The most watched cable television program for, I think, like 28 years or something like that. The most watched We just thing had the 30th anniversary. Yeah. 30 years. Wow. It's a record. Yeah. Every Monday. Boom, 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 boom. On a Monday. tried to imitate that success with other organizations, but you really need a Vince McMahon. Yeah. You You do. You need a kingpin. A long-term storyteller that sees things from weeks ahead. Like what you do tonight. He would, he's still, from what I understand, I read recently, he changed the script on a Monday night right before the whole taping, Mm -hmm. changed all the things around and everybody's panicking like, oh wow, he's changing all this stuff. But it's like for a reason, if something's happening, Mm -hmm. it's like how you could have planned your uh, matches. You could do an act in stand up comedy right down the barrel, but being present, you know, listening to the crowd and Mm -hmm. feeling the stuff. And that's what he does. Yeah. He just spends all day. I mean, he's so, so invested Time-wise and mentally, I mean, I mean to me, he's sharp as a tack. He just he, he had a chance, took a little break from it, you know, uh, um, but it, it gave him a chance to look at the product and then come back at it and yeah. fix what he thought was right or wrong. One of my things, and, and and to me, he's entitled to do that. He, sure, I mean, he own, he owns it. I mean, he built it. Yeah, he do whatever the fuck he wants. Mm-hmm. You know, one of the things that uh, I really admired was one there. There was this one moment where he ran into the ring and he he kind of like dove into the ring in a funny way and hit his thigh on the side of the ring and blew out his quad. To yeah. both, both same time. Yeah, and he was supposed to be That's, there, we, being a leader. We, and we, tell- we, th- we thought he had a heart attack, a stroke. <sighs> We're sitting there watching it. He, he tore them both at the same time. That is so cool. See, you can find that. Oh, it's, it's so crazy. Because the guy must be in fucking agony. Yeah. And he's still, like, present. Yeah. Well, so he's, he comes running and, out. And, and he's supposed to be fixing this situation. You goddamn idiots. You don't know how to run a show. He's mad at both referees because they tied. So he's supposed to be the leader of this all right now. And then, boom. Now he can't stand up. I mean, how did, it doesn't even make sense how he blew them out <laughs> like that. So he's sitting there, and he's still in character. Well, he can't even fucking walk, and everybody else goes along with it. You realize something's wrong. So how do they realize, like, why he was sitting there? They don't. They're just improvising, and he doesn't have enough time to tell them that he blew his quads. But what really is happening there is he's been in guerrilla position for the pay-per-view for Mm -hmm. three hours. So he's been sitting in the back with headphones on, 
hitting a button, communicating to referees, communicating to camera guys, communicating to everything, making the entire production, everything. Well, yeah. And then they, this thing wasn't actually supposed to go like that. They literally, at the end of that Royal Rumble, the two final people literally tied. One, I mean, if they did it a thousand times, they wouldn't be able to land how they landed. They literally land at the same time. Never have, right? Yeah, yeah. It's just one no, in a billion. <laughs> so the refs don't know what to do at all because they're watching the replay and they're literally, they tied. And they tie, and no matter what angle you watch it from, it's a blatant, again, you, they could have done it a thousand times and they wouldn't have timed it like this. So Vince improvising has to get up out of this chair that he's been sitting in for hours and he's like, okay, I'll go yell at them and tell them to restart it or whatever. Yeah. But he's been sitting, controlling everything. So all the blood, here's how it happened, is all the blood is in his fucking brain. Yeah. And now he's like, oh, I'm going to fix this. He's, when yeah. he's coming down that ramp, throwing his jacket, yeah. he's, there's, there's nothing. He's, he hasn't moved his legs in three hours. <laughs> so that's well, how it happened. But he, you know, he'll sit there and he'll, he'll wear the announcers out because he's talking to them in their headset. As they're calling, <laughs> you stupid son of a bitch. We don't say pro wrestling anymore. <laughs> Sports entertainment. <laughs> yeah, nonstop messing with the commentators. Oh, it's, un oh, it's no, unbelievable. It's no, it's, yeah. it's entertainment, man. If you're sitting there watching it, he's, <laughs> he's having a guy bring him a Morton steak. He's eating a steak with Morton's. <laughs> drinking a protein drink and hollering at the announcers. It's the greatest thing you've ever seen. <laughs> just controlling everything. Yeah, just, Did you ever have a match where it, you it, got it, injured it's like that? Like, it's either like, like, or it's like or it's, <laughs> when, when you walk back into the curtain. I've right. had a few of these in my day. <laughs> he said to me one time, 80s heels don't draw. God damn it. I don't want to hear any more of that kiss stealing, wheeling, stealing shit. Okay. Really? 